So for the past 3 months I've been working on something really quite impressive which took me a really long time to make. It's something that I haven't really seen on YouTube before so I thought I'll just try it out. So it's basically an application for a website where you can insert all kinds of variables to create your own custom particle effect. So right over here I've got two examples for you. This one will create a helix particle effect using the witch magic particle. And this one will create a dragon's breath particle effect at the feet. To use the particle generator you have to go to our website using the link in the description. Then you go to commands and then creations. Where you select particle generator and then you have the list of all of the variables. The first variable is the amount of particles in the particle trail. So this is mostly set on 100 but you can also just uh, lower it if you want less particles. The second variable particle motion does certainly not affect all of the particles. So one example I can give you is the particle effect with the dragon's breath where the particles spread in the uh, x, y and z directions. So that is particle motion. And the third uh, variable is velocity and I'll just set this to uh, 50 so you can see what it looks like. So velocity basically makes particle effects go faster. Uh, the fourth variable is base radius and I'll just set this to 2. So as you just saw, base radius will create a bigger or smaller circle. Uh, now we go to the fifth variable, which is circle tops, and let's set this to 6. And now let's change the radius amplitude of the circle tops. Right over here in the middle we have helix tops, and let's set this to 5. So helix tops does the same as circle tops, but only in the y direction. Now helix amplitude, let's set this to 0 0.3. Now to create a helix particle effect, you have to set uh, helix tops to 1. Helix amplitude can be any value, except for 0. And then you can set circle speed to, for example, 5. Now for the people who are interested into this, here's the JavaScript code that generates the long command using the inserted variables. Two plus two is four, minus one, that's three, quick maths. Now last thing I want to do in this video is show you a few examples of particle effects you can make. So let's choose the particle dragon's breath and set particle motion to 0 0.015. And for entity text, we type in type equals Enderman. Then we set base radius to 1.3. Angle will be 45. And center point will be 1.3. So let's paste in that command. And flick the lever. And then you have a fancy particle effect for the Enderman. Now for the second particle effect I'm going to pick the flame particle. And we will need 16 of those. And we put the velocity on 250. Then base radius will be 0 0.3. Then we enable force rendering. So everybody uh, will be able to see our particle effect even from a long distance. Then we'll leave any text empty, so it will target uh, type equals player. And then for center point we choose 2.2. Now let's insert this into the command block. And this will give us a halo effect. Uh, the only problem I forgot to mention is that this doesn't work if the player is not near this uh, machine. So if we take ourselves to this location, which is very far away, 
the effect disappears. So it's important that someone is near this machine to make the particle effect appear. Or you can also uh, place this thing in the spawn chunks. So there's a website for you uh, which will be linked in the description which will help you find the spawn chunks using the seed, the world seed. And to get your world seed you only have to type slash seed. So this has been my video for the particle generator. I really hope you enjoyed it and if you did make sure to share it with your friends or maybe try it out yourselves in your own single player creative world. And if you're wondering what this thing in the background is, this is actually my own hub for my server which has the IP 100 awesome.net as you can see. And currently it only has 5 people online which is kinda sad so I would really appreciate it if you could maybe join my server and if you do so I would like to thank you in advance. But anyway guys, thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.